Hi, I'm Ren here at Seven Cups Fine Chinese Teas, and today I want to show you how to make a braid for your teapot. So what this braid does is it keeps your teapot lid attached to your teapot. That way you don't drop and break it, or you don't lose it when you're washing it. Another benefit is if you're pouring out your tea with one hand, I'll hold the teapot like this. So this gives my hand somewhere to rest on where it won't burn my finger. Whereas this part might get a little bit hot and it's a little bit further of a reach. And this is actually a really simple knot that you can do at home quite easily. So you're only going to need a couple simple things. First of all, you have your teapot. And then I have, you have your thread here. So what this is, is a Chinese knotting thread. And this one in particular is about 8 millimeters. You can find this online pretty easily, I think. Then you have scissors for cutting your thread, a chopstick, which we'll get to later, and also a lighter. So first off, you're just going to measure off a length of thread. And there's probably better ways to do this, but I just go for an arm's length. Because if you don't have enough, you have to cut it off and do it all over again. If you have too much, you can always cut off the excess. I'm going to put that off to the side. So next I'm going to take the two ends in my hand like this and using the lighter melt both ends just a little bit to stop them from fraying. Let those cool off for a minute. So you want to take your teapot, light it with the handle facing toward you. and thread that through. I'm just going to put my hand in here so I don't knock it all over. You're going to want to loop it around the very top part, then back again. And you're going to want to do this one more time. So through the handle. Make sure the ends are even. And then up to the top again. So at this point, this is a little tight. We're going to want to loosen that a bit. And this is where the chopstick comes into play. So we're going to use that to gently pull things down. And then on the side here, I'm going to stick the chopstick through the thread and then fold it underneath the bottom of the teapot. And that's going to help you measure out the length of excess. So here I have as an example, this is one that was braided a little bit short. You can see the braid reaches just toward the top of the handle here. So when you pick it up, you don't really have that much space to move it. And when you're setting off to the side, it pulls the teapot quite easily. With this one, we left a little bit of a longer tail. So when it's fully lidded, it comes down to about the bottom of the handle. And that gives you more of a range of movement if you want to do stuff like this. And when you set it aside, you don't have to worry so much about smoothing this. If you do end up with a braid that's a little bit tight though, what you can do is, as you lift up the teapot, use your ring finger here to help smooth it down for you, and slide it along the side of the handle. Alright, so now we're going to smooth down both ends of the cord to make sure that they're even. Always check this so that you don't run out of thread on one side, which is very disappointing because then you have to undo it and start all over again. So now we're going to loop the thread over the top of the pot, smooth it down again, and you really want to make sure that all of these threads running top to bottom are the same length. So we're just going to tuck those in make sure they're even. And now with the left thread, I'm going to thread underneath all of those threads, but not the furthest most right one. I'm just going to go over that one. And then with my fingers, I'm going to hold that loop reach through that loop, and grab the thread on the far right side. Let's pop that back on there. That's the first half of the knot. We're just going to tighten that down all the way through the top, make sure it's secure. And we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So a right thread goes underneath all the center ones, it goes over the working thread. We're going to reach through with our right hand, and grab that left thread, which will be tucked underneath. Now let's cinch that up again. Make sure it's nice and neat. Because this first one is really what's going to be holding the braid to the top of the lid. And 
All right, so now we can remove that chopstick because uh, we've already secured the top and start braiding. Once again, left thread through. Reach your fingers through the loop. Reach through and grab that right thread from underneath and tuck it tight. Same thing on the right side, just underneath all of those threads. Grab my index finger here, reach through and grab the far left thread. And what we're doing here is basically making a square knot. All right, so here's an example braid that I made earlier just to get myself warmed up. I'm gonna make another one of those knots and I wanna show you exactly what this knot is. So we made the knot and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out that middle thread so that you'll see without the middle thread, what this is is just your everyday overhand knot. You're just making a whole bunch of overhand knots one after the other in a cascading chain of square knots, but you're threading the center bit through them and that's what creates the braid. So if you're ever halfway through braiding and you forget what side you're gonna be braiding on next, there's a very easy way to check that. You can see here on the right hand, there's that little bridge shape that goes from top to bottom. We're gonna take that opposite thread and thread it through toward that bridge. And that's how you're always gonna remember which side you're gonna be starting on. So you see now that little bridge shape that goes from top to bottom is on the left hand side, which means we're gonna take the right thread and thread towards that. And fingers through and just pull the whole thing through nice and neat and tighten it up. And every couple of knots you're going to want to do that. Just tighten them down and push all the knots upwards nice and neat with your hands so that they stay secure. And remember you can always stop and put this video on three quarter speed or even half speed just to see how the knot works. Once you've gotten the hang of which thread goes over what thread it becomes much easier than it looks at first. All right, now that's looking to be a pretty good length. In general, we're going to want this to sit at about the edge of the lid, although whatever looks or feels best to you is obviously going to be the right choice. That's just a rough rule of thumb that you can think about when you're braiding your teapot. And that's all the way to the edge. I'm going to tighten everything down one last time and see how it feels. Yeah, so that looks like a good length to me. It feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like it's too tight. It doesn't feel like I'm running out of space. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. All right, so now everything is nice and tight. I'm going to take the lid off because I like to do this on the underside so it doesn't show as much. And I'm just going to tie a regular square knot, which is what we've been doing this entire time. But I'm going to tie it separately on the outside and that's going to hold the whole thing together. This isn't the most secure way to do it, but with this thread, it has enough of a bite and I know that I'm going to seal it with a lighter, so I don't think it's going to come undone. If you want it to be super secure, you can just tie a regular overhand knot with both threads together and be done with it. Alright, so now I've got a square knot here. It's nice and tight. just want to make extra sure that this one doesn't come loose because this is what's holding the whole thing together. And here's where that lighter is going to come and play again. So I want to snip these close to the knot, but we want to leave a little bit of space for us to melt the ends of the thread and secure the whole thing together. And just a little bit. I use about an eighth of an inch, but leaving a little bit extra is better than not leaving enough. And experience will let you know how close you can get. So you want to pull all the other threads away and just melt that one cut thread very carefully. It also widens the ends of the thread so it's less likely to pull through the knot. Be careful here, just tap it down and hold it together. And there you have it. All right, so now that we've put the finishing touches on our braid, let's see how it feels. So far so good. This is a little bit longer length than we have in other pots, but I personally like this length a lot. Braid comes out just about the edge of the lid, so I think it looks pretty good here. Well, I hope this video has helped you put a braid on your very own teapot, and uh, thank you for watching.